Hey guys, so we're out here. It is Monday, September 2nd. It is Labor Day, and we are celebrating by doing a lot more labor. We have been working all weekend for this long weekend. We've got a huge scrap pile going, as you can see here. And I wanted to just kind of walk around and do a little tour of what we've got so far. So we've, we've hauled so much scrap. Got a pretty cool little microwave down there. And our massive scrap pile that just keeps growing and growing and growing. Got our little base camp set up here. It's where we hide out when the rain comes. And so much trash. We haul, haul back trash every chance we get. But there's just so, so much trash. So I'm gonna walk you around let you see what we're working on and what we've gotten accomplished. We've gotten quite a bit accomplished. You can hear Johnny chainsawing in the background. He's been chainsawing all weekend. I think his arm's about to fall off. Back here we've got a couple of kiddos trying to excavate. So much more metal. There's like no end to the metal. Fortunately, they're doing it with great attitudes. Always great attitudes. So, see here, Johnny's trying to dig out some gigantic metal plate bigger than he is. So, they've been digging, digging, digging. They've dug out all kinds of tractor tires and 18-wheeler tires and just so much stuff. So much stuff. Y'all having a good Labor Day weekend? Are you insane? <laughs> Mom, be this is the best day of my life. I want to go eat cake. <laughs> Alright, so we're, we're going to go check on the little kids. and They've been working really hard. Oh, hey guys. Guys, there's another piece here. There's some buried like L-shaped piece right here that y'all need to dig up too. So. What is it? I don't know. Barbed More metal. Like a metal piece of something. I don't know. This looks easier to get up. So. Alright, so Sarah's volunteering to get that up. He doesn't want to work on this. You can see our materials pile that just keeps growing and growing and growing. Hopefully we'll be able to put some of that to use, save some money down the road. We've got our pile of PVC. This over here is where that big square upon square upon square tin metal thing was. We got that all cleared out. We've got a path cleared through here so we can get the well guy in. And that's cleared back to the bug shack. Here's our giant brush pile we've been piling up. We still have back here this thing that was stuck in the tree that we tried to cut through and then gave up on. I still have no idea what this is supposed to be, but we chopped down the tree and whenever we get some heavy equipment in here we're gonna we'll just gonna have to pull this out of here hopefully. So, there's a giant tree, along with a, had a hood of a car that was in this big mud pit here that poor Johnny had to dig up, little Johnny. I must say the boys have gotten rather proficient at digging. So, we're going to make our way. Oh, hold on, we got a visitor. All right, we're back. We had a visitor stop by who's offering to come kind of help us with some of the heavy stuff. So that I think will be very useful and helpful. Hopefully mutually beneficial. We have some bickering going on that I'm sure you can hear. Big giant tire dug out. And it's a team effort. Trying to get this out. Don't hit your head. That's called teamwork right there. Teamwork makes the dream work, right guys? Yeah. Work together, work together. Actually work. Stop. Don't be ugly, please. 
Okay, you gotta turn, pivot, pivot. Okay, go. All right, roll, roll, roll. On three, ready? Just go already. Go. Keep going, keep going, keep, get your momentum. Come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're going to put it with the other ones, kind of tucked around back, out of the way. Quit complaining. Put it over here with this other big one. You're almost there. Be nice. Roll, 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 roll. Almost there. Work together. Turn, pivot. No. We need to go around back. Just put it right this other one. Put it right up against this other one. Come on. We need to turn towards it. Yes. yes. Stop pushing it forward and pivot. Roll, roll, turn. roll your tire. Oh, go a little bit. Love you, honey. All right, get right up to it. Get right up to it. All right. All right, turn it and lean it towards the other one. Good job. Give me some big smiles. Thank you, guys. Good job. Go get some water. It's break time. So here's the water tank that we found. It's about 50 to 75 yards away from where the well is. I'm going to attempt to load this thing up on this little wagon that I've got, strap it down, and haul it back over by the well. This thing was full of water when I found it, and it was heavy as you know what. I managed to tip it over, drain some of the water out, but it still got a little bit of water left in it.
it's still continuing to drain water, so maybe it'll continue to lighten up a little bit. I'm going to need to get the weight shifted a little bit more forward on the wagon here. I want to get it secured on for the first half. This thing had a parking brake. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Come back to this in a little while. Finally, continuing our little walk around tour. I had to switch cameras because my battery died on my other one. So back to the phone camera. So you can see back where we had the mobile home. We've made a lot of progress back in here. Had to dig up a bunch of stuff. So here's the mobile home. We've dug up all the stuff. There was like a whole field of crap out in front of it that's all been dug up now. And then he had built some kind of like storage shed, I guess, with this camper top. You know, see if we might be able to repurpose it for something. I don't know. There's the mobile home in all its glory. And our beautiful little septic tank with the lid half off. We've got some scrap tin we've managed to salvage. Cleaned up a bunch of stuff back here. Had a bunch of like ham radios. Super heavy. And of course like sunken into the mud and everything. We've got a bunch of little foundation blocks and stuff we can use. So we found the water tank back over here in this corner that we were able to get moved over to where the well is. We've got little kids over here working the bug shack. We're trying to get it cleaned out so we have a place where we can store tools and at least halfway secure them so we're not having to haul everything in and out every time we come. Bug shack was like waist high deep with Stuff. And by stuff, I mean crap. Just so much stuff. How are we coming back here, guys? No. What? You can look for yourself. Let's see how much progress we've made. So we've been shoveling and shoveling. Making a lot of progress. Good job, Natalie. And Mom, Mom's not letting me I'm go Just trying in. to move stuff out of here. Yes, Jake, because you've hit her multiple times. It's a bunch of stuff. So we made a lot of progress, but still have a lot to go. I think we've got a cool corner done. Yeah, a pretty good corner done, but still a lot of stuff. Um, Kids are working hard. So more <laughs> PVC pipe that we're trying to dig up. Just so much PVC pipe everywhere. 
Not sure where this one goes, where it'll end, but boys are picking up where I left off, doing more digging. They sure love digging, it's a good thing. So and Johnny has started cutting back. Let's see if I can find the path that he cut. It's not over here, it's over there. He's been cutting through. We kind of made our way back to the chain link fence now. It's kind of threatening to rain off and on. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Some of the stuff is still fairly tall. Woo, more spiders. So we're making good progress. Still got a lot of stuff that's got to get done, but Johnny's been chainsawing like a chainsaw madman. And so now we can see all the way down to the back of the property. We can see the chain link. And Johnny's been trying to cut through. He's made a lot of progress with the brush cutter. And he's come back through with the chainsaw. And so we believe that this chain link fence here is about three-fourths of the way across the property, which we have mostly cleared. So. Still some rough terrain, sorry. So we get over here, and looks like Johnny's been brush cutting back here because this was all super high yesterday. And you can kind of see what we've got on this side, so we haven't even started really on this side. There's another super cool septic tank buried there. And we've got a bunch of culverts. So many culverts. I don't know what we're going to do with all these culverts, but we'll figure it out. Anybody need some culverts? Let's go hook you up. Give you a good, good deal. You just gotta come tow them out of here. So that's where we're at, and I think I can see the neighbor's property. So I'll continue walking this way. Oof. A little rough. So we come back. Woo! Sorry, almost walked into another spider. Spiders everywhere. So I see blue back there. See the blue of the neighbor's house? So. We are almost to the other side. So we're kind of starting to get a little excited. Aside from all these freaking culverts we got sitting here. We're gonna see what we can do about all that. But we're making progress. We've made a lot of progress. I think the kids are starting to get a little excited. Everybody's tired of manual labor, of course, but there's still quite a bit that's gotta get done before we could start putting animals out here, but we're making it happen. So, still gotta cut down through here to get up to the front of the property. It's kinda, when you get back here, it's hard to orient yourself and figure out how far the distance is, because you can't see anything. You don't have any point of comparison. So, I think this is about halfway. And if so, that would mean we've got about 200 feet more to go in this direction to get up to the front. So we will see.